All right, today is that we can each describe the relationship in quantities. What in the world does that mean? Well, let's get started here and explain that to you. So, so the computer catches up to me. 3.2.1 describing relationships between quantities. Let's take a look at this situation for number 54 here. Sometimes using the same words in a slightly different way it can change their meaning. So, situation number one. Myra has 15 marbles, as you can see I'm representing 15 marbles right here, the orange marbles. This is 10 less than Delilah. So the question is, how many does Delilah have? Well, if this here is 15 less than Delilah, then Delilah must have more marbles than Myra. Well, if Myra's is 10 less than that, that means Delilah must have, keep moving it over there, she must have a grand total of 25 marbles. Hopefully that makes good sense to you. Next, situation number two says Myra has 15 marbles. Delilah this time has 10 less than Myra. So this time Delilah has less marbles than Myra. So that means Delilah must simply have 5 marbles. Hopefully that makes very good sense to you. Okay? Now, uh, for each situation, draw a picture to represent how many marbles they have. Well, we kind of did that. In which problem does Myra have more marbles than Delilah? Well, Myra had more marbles in the first one. Or, I'm sorry, in the second one. And how many Myra have? Blah, blah, blah. Let's move on to the next one. You can see I get impatient sometimes. 55. Ellie is building a dollhouse. She has boards that are two different lengths. She has... A, uh, one long board. The long board is seven inches longer than the total length of three short boards. So she has three short boards that when you put those three short boards end to end, they're still seven inches shorter than the long board. Let's draw a picture to make sure we understand what that looks like all together. So right down here you can see our little picture. The three short boards right here and the one long board which is seven inches longer than the three short boards put together. Does that make sense? Now, if we were to put that in terms of uh, algebraic terms, we could say that the short board would be x. So this here would be x plus x plus x, and the long board here then would be three of those x's plus an additional seven, or three x plus seven. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So what are some possible lengths for the boards? Well, let's just take some examples here. So, if we were to take a look and take examples and say that x equals 10. Well, if this was 10, and this is 10, and this is 10, and we know the long board is 7 inches longer than all three of those put together, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, plus 7 more is 37. That we should be able to see right here. If this is 10, then the long board is 37. If the short board was 5, 10, 15 for those 3, 15 plus 7, or 3 times 5 is 15 plus 7, then we're talking this would all be 22 inches. And the final example I've got here, if x equals 12, or the short board was 12, 12 and 12 and 12 is 36, 36 plus 7 is 43 inches. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's continue moving on. Letter C says, this time let's talk about the long board. The long board is 50 inches long. So this board right down here, the long board, is 50 inches long. So the question becomes, how long is the short board? Well, you should understand that these three boards right here are 7 inches shorter than this longest board. So we've got to take 7 inches away from that 50. 50 minus 7 is 43 inches. So these three boards right here all total 43 inches. So how could we find the length of each of these boards? Well, we've got to take the 43 inches, and we need to divide that by 3. 43 divided by 3 is 14 and 1 third inches. Hopefully that makes good sense to you. If not, I'm sure you'll re-watch the video until it does make good sense to you. Let's take two more examples here. Problem 56. Deanna has $16. Hyro has twice as much money as... Deanna. Think about that. 
Who's got more money, Deanna or Hiro? If Hiro has twice as much, Hiro has more money. Problem B, Deanna has $16. She has, meaning Deanna, has twice as much money as Hiro. Well, who has more money there? Deanna does, because she's got twice as much. Hopefully that makes total sense to you. And yeah, blah, blah, blah for that one. Moving on. Question 57. I really like this question. We're going to kind of reverse our thinking. Okay. We're going to give you the picture, and now we got to kind of come up with the word problem. So picture A. You got two short boards and you got two long boards. Come up with a word problem for that one. Pause the video and come up with, in your head or on paper, write down what you think that should be. Alright, you should have letter A done by now. Alright, letter A, the way I wrote it out, is that the two long lengths, these two long ones right here, are equal to the two short boards plus an additional 10. Now, would it have been wrong to say that um, the two short boards are equal to the two long lengths minus 10 inches? No, that would have been the same thing. So either one of those works just fine. All right, letter B, I'm not going to have you pause the video for this. So it's only going to confuse you a little bit. Letter B, that we've got a bunch of toothpicks going around here. Okay, we've got four toothpicks, two and five. I'm sure if you were to write this down, you said, well, 4 plus 2 plus 5 is 11 toothpicks. And basically what it's measuring there is the perimeter of that shape for B is equal to 11 toothpicks. I will, however, have you try letter C. And what I'd like you to try and do here is pretend that there's an equal sign right between these two. So this equals that. Go ahead and pause the video very quickly and, and just write down what you come up with. All right, you should have that done now. So what I came up with, and I'm just going to pop up on these, so I'm going to readjust it here. There we go. All right, the three boxes of cookies, three boxes of cookies plus two more cookies is the same as or equal to one box of cookies plus 20. If you haven't guessed it already in future lessons, we're then going to, we're going to figure out how many cookies are in each box. We're not doing that today, but that's where we're going. All right, and finally, question 58. Question 58, we're looking at this little chart here. You need to decide which of these statements are true and which ones are false. I'll read it to you, and you think about it for a moment and write down your answer before I get there. This one says Richard, although here it says Rich. So let's go with Rich. Rich is one foot shorter than Kristen. If you believe that Rich is one foot shorter than Kristen, mark true. If you think it's false, mark false. Hopefully you have that written down by now. And the answer to that one would be, it's true. Rich is four feet tall, Kristen's five feet tall, that's one foot shorter for Rich. B, Ariel. Ariel is this one. They're saying Ariel is twice as tall as Richard. If you believe that Ariel is twice as tall as Richard, mark true. If you do not believe that Ariel is twice as tall as Richard, mark false. Go ahead and do that. Shouldn't take too long to write down those five letters, which gives away the answer, which is false. Ariel is not twice as tall as Richard. Richard is twice as tall as Ariel. Letter C. Kristen the tall Kristen, is one foot taller than twice Ariel's height. If you believe that Kristen is uh, one foot taller than twice Ariel's height, mark true. If you do not believe that Kristen is one foot taller than twice that height, mark false. You should have that answer by now. And that answer, of course, is true because Ariel's two feet, so twice that would be four feet. And Kristen would still be one foot taller than that. And then the final one. The sum, which the word sum means to add, the sum of the three children's height is 10 feet. So we've got Rich's height here, we've got Kristen, uh, Ariel's height here, and we've got Kristen's height here. 
Figure out what the sum of those three heights are, and then mark down true or false. All right. You should have that by now. Rich was four feet tall. Ariel was two feet tall. That makes six feet tall. Plus Kristen's five feet tall does not make ten. That makes eleven feet. Hopefully you got those right. I think that's all I'm covering with you today. We will see you in class tomorrow. Make sure you have the notes on this. If anything didn't make sense, go back and review it. We'll see you tomorrow class.